I'm Bill Hurst and this is my tree farm. I work here with my old man and my sons James and Mike. Every job has a story and every job has a price. One thing I've learned after 35 years, we never know what tree planting job we're going to do next. This video is about deer prevention program that we have at Highland Hill Farm. We prevent deer damage by first putting up a deer fence which makes it more difficult for the deer to get into our fields. We do have created a deer fence that's eight foot tall which makes it difficult for deer to get in. They still can jump over and crawl underneath. After we've created our deer fence we select plants which are deer resistant. Deer resistant plants are Norway spruce, white pine, green giant arborvita, and Leland cypress, just to name a few. The plants that are not deer resistant we try to put inside a deer fence at our most safe locations. After we planted the trees in the field, if they are deer, not deer resistant we try to put on deer guards. Deer guards are a plastic covering that just covers the bark of the tree. It does not prevent deer browse or deer eating it. It prevents bucks from rubbing their antlers on the trunk of the tree. After we have protected zone and we try to protect the deer that protect our trees as best as we can against the deer, we allow hunters to come onto the property and take deer off. We have a program that allows any hunter they want to come on the property and hunt for a day if you give us a 6x6 six by, six by 12 foot long um, fence post that we can use for a deer fence. After, so we have a deer fence, we have selected plants that don't get eaten by the deer, and then we have the deer hunters come in. After all that we try to create a, our farm as a place where deer do not want to live at. We do that by mowing down where the grass is growing. We go into the hedgerows and take out the pricker bushes. We just make it so that the deer don't want to live there. We try to keep it clean and keep it nice looking. All those methods help us reduce the amount of deer that are in the area. And if there's less deer in the, in the area, there's less damage to our trees, which makes our business more profitable. This is a picture of our deer fence. We use an eight foot tall woven wire fence to keep the deer out. Although it may look very nice to keeping deer out and you can't see how the deer can get in, some of the stronger deer can in fact jump over 8 foot tall and some of the smaller deer can wiggle underneath the fences and areas. In the snow it's a great time to go scout to see where the deer are at. You can see their tracks so you know where they're going. They've gone through areas where the fence is open such as where the gates are or they go in areas where they can go wiggle underneath the fence. And where they can wiggle underneath is usually areas where there's a depression and the fence is up a little bit high. After identifying these areas, we can fix them by putting rocks in those areas or putting sticks there. We just have to continuously look and monitor and see what the deer are doing and be vigilant.